evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to lead people of all walks of life to a deep and genuine encounter with Him. By the grace of God, I have seen many people touched by God in this ministry and I encourage you, my dear friend, to connect in faith. Believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. My dear friend, we all face feelings of abandonment, feelings of hurt, feelings of pain, feelings of betrayal at some point in our life. But there's something that we should learn in life, my dear friend. There is somebody who is with us through it all, and his name is Jesus. Welcome to the Glory Realm, a time that we spend with God, and it's brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry, the ministry that aims to go to the house of the living God. My dear friend, I want to tell you something. One encounter with God is enough to change your life. If you encounter God, your life can be changed so radically that you will be wondering and you will be amazed at what's happening. I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and I'm so happy to be with you today. It is another day that God has given us by His grace and I am so excited. I know like I know that as we pray together today, God will bless you. It is indeed Sunday and on Sunday we usually pray Sunday deliverance prayers and today I'm going to be praying for you for deliverance from all evil spirits of pain, betrayal, suicidal thoughts, unhappiness, disappointment, hostility, bitterness. You know, my dear friend, we go through things in life and the Bible even speaks of these things. I truly believe the Bible contains everything that we need to know in order to pass through this lifetime successfully. It has every lesson that you need to learn. As you go to the Word of God, God will bless you. I want to take my reading today from the book of Psalms chapter 27 verse 10 in the ISV version and it says, Though my father and my mother abandoned me, the Lord gathers me up. My dear friend, now I want to tell you, your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your child, maybe even your husband or your close friends or your colleagues, they might have turned on you. They might have betrayed you. And I know this feeling isn't nice. It's, it's a feeling of extreme pain and discomfort. And because of this, you might feel really discouraged, my dear friend. But I'm here with a message. And that message is don't let this pull you down. Because there's one who is still with you. There is somebody who never left you. There's somebody who never abandoned you. When everyone else walked away from you and you were all alone, there's somebody who was still with you. And don't overlook him. He is still with you even as you listen to this right now. His name is Jesus. God is always with us. He is God with us, Emmanuel, meaning God with us. My dear friend, people might have hurt you and betrayed you, but I'm here to encourage you, forgive those who left you. Forgive those who walked away from you. Forgive those who hurt you. Forgive those who turned on you when you needed them the most. You holding on to this pain and not forgiving them will only affect you and it will only hold you back, not the other person. This feeling of pain, this feeling of disappointment, this feeling of betrayal, it works one way and its specific purpose is to limit the person who is hurt and holding the offense or the unforgiveness. My dear friend, from today I encourage you, forgive those people and just choose to love them. You know, my dear friend, I want to tell you something. The blessings and the good things in life, they're just the cherry on the cake. But God, God is the cake. There wouldn't be a cherry if there wasn't any cake, my dear friend. You know, my dear friend, for me myself, I've made a decision. I've made a choice. And I've said, I don't mind if God gives me the cherry. I receive it. But I personally mainly want the cake. I mainly want God. When you have God in your life, everything else will fall into place. As you get God, you will be blessed. Stay close to God. God is somebody who loves you no matter what. God is somebody who will never leave you. God is somebody who loves you. He created you. Now, I want to encourage you, instead of holding on to feelings of pain, feelings of disappointment, feelings of betrayal, rather choose to, to love the people who turned on you. Rather choose, instead of holding offense against people, rather choose to forgive them and love them. Know that they are weak and we need to receive other people in the grace of God, even as God receives us in His grace. My dear friend, I want to tell you something. Learn to love people with their flaws. Learn to love people and understand that, look, not everyone is perfect and people will let me down at some stage or another, but there's somebody I can love who will never let me down, and he is Jesus. My dear friend, in life, one thing I've learned is that there's evil spirits who try to cause this pain, this discouragement, this abandonment 
to surface and to come up at times when God really wants to give you promotion and this pain ends up coming up and holding you back. Don't let the evil spirits convince you to pick up that pain and that offense again, but release it and let it go. Let it go into the hands of God. Tell God, God, I've forgiven this person and I choose to love this person. Whoever it was that abandoned you, whoever it was that hurt you, whoever it was that, that caused you so much pain in your life, tell God, God, I choose to love this person and God will bless you. But in saying that, let's go into a time of prayer, my dear friend. I want to pray for you that God will deliver you wherever there's any evil spirits causing pain to come back or feelings of betrayal or causing you to hold on to suicidal thoughts or unhappiness or disappointment or hostility or bitterness because someone hurt you really badly. You will be delivered today, my dear friend. I want to tell you something. God is in the business of changing lives and He's going to change your life. He's going to set you free from every feeling of betrayal, from every feeling of pain, from every feeling of setback. And you will go to another level, my dear friend. You will go up and you will not come down because God is with you. In saying that, let's go into a time of prayer, my dear friend. Take your cell phone, your device, wherever you're watching me right now, and just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God. And even as you go there, just begin to lift up some praises to God. Father, you are my Lord. You are my God. You are the God in whom I trust. Thank you for yet another day that we can seek you. Thank you for yet another day that we can come to you, Lord God. Thank you for another day that both myself and my dear friend watching this video today can, can press in and touch the hem of your garment. Lord, I thank you for your healing power. I thank you for your deliverance working power. I thank you for your power, Lord, to heal, to set free, and to deliver us from the things of the past that held us back. Lord, I pray that you will do what only you can do in your child's life today, Lord. Lord, your child might be feeling hurt. Your child might be feeling betrayed. Your child might be feeling abandoned and all alone. But Lord, I pray that you will show your child today, Lord, that you are with your child, Lord, and you never leave us. You never forsake us, Lord. Let your child know that you are always there and you are consistent, you are firm and you are true and your love never runs out, Lord. Let your child know this, Lord, and we give you all the praise in advance, Lord. Do what only you can do even in the life of your child, Lord. Continue to bless and continue to change the life of your child and continue to take the life of your child up from glory to glory, Lord. I ask this in Jesus' name and I give you all the praise for it, Lord. Amen. My dear friend, now let's take some time to just welcome the Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come and touch me. Come and change my life. Come and help me, Lord Holy Spirit, to overcome all pain, all disappointment, all bitterness, all feelings of betrayal, all feelings of being left alone, all feelings of abandonment, Lord. Help me to overcome all these things, Lord. I ask you this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, now we're going to go into a time of prayer. But before we go there, I want to encourage you to do three things. Comment in the comment section and agree with me. There is power in agreement. The second thing, if you've got a private prayer request and you want to send it through to me so I can pray for you, then feel free to go to my website. Go to www.gabrielfernandezministries.org and just click on daily prayer list and fill in your prayer request, click submit, and then it's going to come through to me. The third thing, my dear friend, is if you've got a testimony and you want to share your testimony, you want to share what God has done for you, then feel free to share it through my website. Go to www.gabrielfernandezministries.org and just click on testimony or testify. Tell us what God has done for you and we're going to review it and then we're going to post it up. But in saying that, my dear friend, let's go into a time of prayer. Our dear Heavenly Father, we're just here today, both myself and my dear friend watching this video, both myself and your dear child whom you love so much. Lord, we're just here to seek you because we know you are the one who will never leave us and you are the one who will never forsake us. Lord, release your power, Lord, your power for healing, your power for deliverance today, Lord. Even as we pray together, both myself and my dear friend, Lord, I pray that you will set my dear friend free from every evil spirit that causes uh, these feelings of betrayal, these feelings of hurt and pain to remain, to linger on longer than they should. Lord, deliver your child from every evil spirit that causes these feelings to resurface from time and time again, bringing up the past and not allowing your child to go forward and move on. But Lord, I pray that you will deliver your child completely, Lord. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Lord, deliver your child from pain. Deliver your child from betrayal. Deliver your child from suicidal thoughts. Deliver your child from unhappiness. Deliver your child from feelings of disappointment. Deliver your child from feelings of hostility. Deliver your child from feelings of bitterness. 
Deliver your child from bad feelings, feelings that are caused by evil spirits that cause these things to come back up and constantly stick around and not allow your child to move on and forget these things. Deliver your child from all such things, Lord, that evil spirits are causing to be risen up again, to come up and cause your child to be in pain. Deliver your child, Lord, even as we pray together today, both myself and my dear friend. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. My dear friend, there is power in the name of Jesus. Now, I just want to take some moments to just rebuke and command every evil spirit that might be limiting you to go. They must leave now so that your life can be healed because you are never alone. You are not rejected. God loves you and He's with you. So right now, my dear friend, I'm going to rebuke them and I'm going to command them out. I want you to just command them out even as I'm rebuking them. Command them out. They will leave you and they will never come back in the name of Jesus. Right now with the power in the name of Jesus, I bind up and I cast out every evil spirit of pain, every evil spirit of betrayal, every evil spirit of suicidal thoughts, every evil spirit causing unhappiness, every evil spirit bringing up past disappointments, coming to whisper in the ears of my dear friend watching this video, causing the feeling of betrayal and disappointment and unhappiness, every evil spirit causing hostility, every evil spirit causing bitterness. I bind you up and I cast you out right now by fire and by force with the power in the name of Jesus. Right now in the name of Jesus, I cast you out in Jesus' name. I serve you notice. I say your time is up. You cannot stick around any longer. Your time is up and God's time is now. God's time is now in the life of the dear child of God who's watching this video. I command you, evil spirit, to never come back in Jesus' name. Right now, I release Holy Spirit fire. I command you to leave right now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. My dear friend, I want to tell you something. God is with you. It doesn't matter what people may say. It doesn't matter what people may do. It doesn't matter if people walk away. Always know that God is with you and He will never leave you. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. I know that God has done something and He's started something amazing in your life. From myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, I'll see you tomorrow for the Monday Prophetic Word. Until tomorrow, Shalom and goodbye. If you were blessed by this video and you'd like to give a seed, feel free to do so using any one of the secured links provided in the description. If you would like to partner with us to support the work of the gospel on a monthly basis, then you can do so via Patreon. The link for Patreon as well as other information is also provided in the description. Other than that, my friend, God bless you, God keep you, God make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, Shalom and goodbye.